Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a button with a progress bar in the background using HTML and CSS. Okay, so this right here is going to be our button. So if I click on it, we get this nice progress bar in the background with also a change of text from uploading to complete. So this right here is very easy to achieve. So let's go inside this tab right here and begin with a blank canvas to create what we just saw. So going inside the text editor, we've got something like this. So the first step is going to be to work on the HTML for this button. So in the HTML, I'm going to be creating a new button element right here with a type of button and a class of once again button. Also, we need to specify the different changes in text as the button goes from in progress to complete. So I'm going to say right here data dash progress text is equal to uh, uploading dot 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 then also a data dash complete text is equal to complete so of course you can change this and customize it to your liking um, so now uh, also just a quick heads up we're going to be using javascript later on to grab onto these attributes and apply them to the button as it goes through its in progress okay so Moving on with the HTML, we're going to be including two child elements of this button. The first one is going to be a div representing the actual button progress visually. So now I'm going to say div with a class of button underscore underscore progress. And this one here is going to be empty. We're going to make a second element right here. And this one is going to be called button underscore underscore text. And it's going to be a span containing the actual default text. In this case, we're going to say upload file and we are basically done with the HTML. So of course we get something like this in the browser. So now let's move on to the CSS. So when it comes to the CSS for this button, I'm just going to copy and paste what I've got for these styles. So I'm going to get this right here and paste it. So these are just visual things. They're not too important. So I'm going to be covering the important parts, but um, I'll just go through these properties. So we have no border, got a green background, some white text, 10px padding on top and bottom, and 16px for the left and right. I've got a cursor of pointer, a position of relative. So this one right here is actually super important. So I'm going to get rid of it for now, and we're going to see why we need it. Also got some fonts going on. I've got an overflow of hidden alongside a border radius of 5px to give us those beautiful rounded corners as well as a minimum width right down here. So um, I'll also be leaving a link to the code below if you want to also copy and paste these styles. So saving this right here is going to give us something like this in the browser. As we can see, fairly simple and nice looking button. So going back in the in the CSS, let's get to the important stuff. So that is going to be styling up this button progress. So down here, we're going to be targeting the button underscore underscore progress class. And we're going to be saying right here, first off a position of absolute. This allows us to set a height of 100%. Okay. Um, a width of, for example, let's just do 50%. So this right here is just for demonstration purposes to see what 50% progress looks like. Okay. I'm going to say also a top of zero and a left of zero, as well as a background right here of red. So now saving this and going back in the browser, we can see got this massive red part of the page. So the reason why this is happening is because our position of absolute and these four properties right here, height, width, top and left, these are all applying relative to the whole document, which is why it appears in the top left of the whole page and it takes up the entire height of the page. So to fix that, we need to instead in the button parent. So of course, this is our button progress in the parent uh, HTML tag or element, we need to say right up here, a position of relative. So now this position absolute is going to apply relative to our parent. So now saving this and going back in the browser, we now have our desired result. 
as we can see, we've got the example 50% progress, but of course, the button text is hiding behind the progress. So let's push the text to the front and of course make it appear on top. So to achieve this, let's go back inside here. We're going to be targeting the class of button underscore underscore text and we're going to say right here, a position of relative. So because both position absolute and position relative are absolutely positioned uh, you know, uh, rules, okay, so because they both have either absolute or relative, this means that whatever element appears after in the HTML, that is the one that is going to appear on top. So if I save this and go back in the browser, we can see the text appears on top. If I go back inside here now and I just move this upload files to be above the BTN progress or should I say if I move the BTN progress or the button progress to be under the text and go back inside the browser, now we can see the progress is going to appear on top. So make sure your order of these elements is correct. So now let's apply some finishing touches to our CSS. The first one is going to be applying or changing this background color. We're going to be saying instead RGBA 000, then 0 0.2 to give us a 20% opaque black. So now we can see that the background color of the button is going to bleed through uh, and make essentially a darker shade of the background color. Also, let's apply a transition. We're going to be saying transition right here with a value of width and then 0.3 seconds. So now basically, whenever the width of this progress changes or whenever the progress bar changes its value, it's going to change at a rate of 0.3 seconds and it's going to look nice. Okay, so going back inside here, if I manually change the, uh, the width of the progress right here by selecting the progress bar here and then I just say right down here width of for example if I do 76% and press enter we get right here our nice transition so that is that one and also just a quick heads up we are of course going to be changing this value this width property using JavaScript very shortly and that is how it's going to work so we got all this right here and we are basically done with the CSS for our button. But let's make this width a default of zero when the page first loads up. So now, of course, we've got this clean button with 0% progress. So let's now minimize or fold down the style tag and move on to the JavaScript. So I'm going to be showing you an example of some JavaScript code, which is going to control the button. So to achieve this, I'm going to first get a reference to our upload file button. I'm going to say const btn upload file is equal to document.query selector, then pass through here the class of dot button. Okay, so of course, this right here is just going to select the first element with a class of button, of course, being this one right here. So now let's write a function which updates our button progress. So I'm going to say function set button progress okay this right here is going to take through the button so we're going to say button right here as well as a percent value so we're going to say percent right here so inside this function the first step is going to be to get a reference to uh, the actual uh, text spam because of course we need to update the text to either be uploading or complete based on the percent so let's say right here const text element is equal to button dot query selector and we're going to say a class of button underscore underscore text so what this query selector is doing when you're calling it on the button is it's starting from the button right here and it's selecting the first element with a class of btn or button underscore underscore text of course giving us this one right here okay cool so the next step here is going to be to simply update the percent of our button. So we're going to say right here, button dot query selector. Once again, doing the exact same thing this time for the button underscore underscore progress. But since we're only going to be, you know, using this, uh, this element once, we don't need to uh, store it inside a constant. So I'm going to say right here dot style dot width is equal to then gonna pass through here using the back ticks on my keyboard next to the one um, we're gonna say right here dollar sign curly braces pass through percent 
then put a percent sign. So basically, if I was to call this uh, call this function, for example, set button progress, pass through here the btn upload file, then if I pass through percent of, for example, 76, we're gonna get right inside here 76 percent as our uh, as our width of our button progress element. Okay, so we've got this right here. I might just save this and test it out. So I'm gonna comment out this piece of code, go back in the browser, then I'm going to go in the console. I'm gonna call the set button progress. I'm gonna pass through here the btn upload file. Then I'm going to say, for example, 76, press enter, and we get that nice 76%, um, you know, uploaded, uh, represented right there, okay? So now, let's finish this off by simply uh, changing the text based on the percent that is complete. So, once we've assigned the, you know, width of that, you know, element right there, go right down here, and we're going to be saying if the percent you pass through is more than or equal to zero, so basically if the task has started, the upload has started, then we can just say uh, text element dot text content is equal to then we're going to say button dot data set dot progress text okay so we're just setting our you know um, our text content of this span to be whatever we assigned inside our up or sorry inside our data progress text uh, attribute so basically this um, you know this progress dash text is simply converted to camel case right here to say progress then capital T X so saving this and going back in the browser you can see if I call the function again we get our uploading right there and the same goes for the next one which is going to be if your percent is more than or equal to 100 you are done so we're going to say complete text right here save this go back in the browser let's make this 76 then let's make it uh, 100 press enter and we get complete right there. So that is how to create a button with a progress bar using HTML and CSS. Thanks for watching guys. Um, if you liked today's video, drop a like and also subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.